Today in Chris Performance Repair, we're going to go ahead and do a test for a head gasket on this particular vehicle. It's a rather easy test. It's something you can do at home to check if you got a bad head gasket or not. Say you're cruising down the road and you get a little bit of an overheating concern going on. You notice the temperature is kind of fluctuating up and down, things like that. That might be because you have air in the system and it might be because of a bad head gasket. So how do you test for such a thing? Another symptom that you might have before we get into the testing is you might actually end up with the reservoir drying out. It's not leaking out. You're losing fluid. It's not leaking out anywhere. You don't see it showing up anywhere. But obviously you're losing fluid and it's got to be going somewhere. It might be going out the tailpipe because of, say, a bad head gasket. So let's go ahead and test that quick. It's a really simple test. So you're going to need this fluid and then you're going to need a test kit for testing for the bad head gasket. Now I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description below for such a test kit. They're rather cheap. Uh, this one is one that's a really old design but I feel like it's the best design. I'll see if I can find one for giving you guys the link but I got this from an old timer who got out of the industry and it's got several chambers so this one's kind of cool because it's got this chamber, this chamber and then a like overflow chamber or whatever in case you accidentally suck antifreeze in so you don't get it all in the ball here. But basically what you do is there are some lines on here and I'm going to go ahead and fill the fluid up to those lines. So this is the test fluid. Now you don't want to have any carbon gases in here, any kind of combustion gases in the shop when you do this. It will contaminate this fluid and ruin the entire bottle. Right now, I have the shop vented out. I took and opened all the doors. I let all the air out just in case I had any kind of gases in here. I also have a carbon monoxide detector to make sure that I don't have anything in there and it's not reading anything. So be sure you're clear before you open this bottle up. You can open it up. Go ahead and in this case, fill both chambers, but most likely you're just gonna have a single chamber. You wanna fill it right up to that line that is on the chamber. So now how does this thing work? What it does is it senses combustion gases, already burnt gas. And it's a blue fluid normally, and you suck the air from the cooling system through this thing, it bubbles up, and you leave it right on the reservoir. Now if you have a vehicle that has a, a radiator cap, some really old vehicle, that you don't have an actual reservoir that you can put a suction to, like this one, you're going to want to find a way to either add a funnel, put a lid on the funnel, something of that nature, so you can have an air gap because you don't want it directly contacting the antifreeze. It will obviously contaminate this fluid. Oh, it already started to change. This is a vehicle that does have a confirmed bad head gasket, so you'll get a chance to see it change rather quickly. And uh, I'll go ahead and fire it up. I'm going to get this fluid out of here. So we'll fire it up here and then we'll show you how the fluid changes color to confirm a bad head gasket. So I do have an exhaust hose on here, so keep that in mind. I'm not just running it in the air in here. And I will be opening the door just in case somehow fumes got in here. Now I do leave it running for a little bit while I wait for this thing to get any gas in here. Sometimes a head gasket, if it's not bad enough, it might take a little while and you might have to test it a couple of times. This will be my second test on this one, just for video sake. But this one was pretty obvious when I went ahead and did the bulb here to suck some air into it. Sometimes you might actually have to have somebody in the vehicle to put it in gear, use reverse because you're in front of the vehicle, put it in gear, apply the brake and give it a little bit of a load. Because when you give it a load, that combustion, that explosion in the combustion chamber is stronger and it might push out the head gas and be more likely to do it. This is one I don't have to do that because it's bad enough. So let's go ahead and start pulling the suction on here. And you will see this fluid change fairly quickly on this particular vehicle. But three, starting to change already, it's turning teal. There it goes, and it's going yellow. And there you have it. 
have it. We have yellow fluid now. I'm going to go ahead and shut the vehicle off. And I'll do it one more time because there'll still be gas in there. I might as well get it as yellow as I can. So we can see it's rather yellow. Now, just for reference, I'm going to go ahead and dump out the top chamber here and put new fluid in it just so that you can see the difference in color. Probably shouldn't have opened that in here. I hope it doesn't get contaminated. You guys need better lighting. All right, there we go. Now you can see it better. So you can see the obvious difference. The yellow is, come on, focus. The yellow is confirmed bad. The blue is still good, no head gasket issue. So it will stay blue if you don't have a bad head gasket, but obviously this vehicle does have a bad head gasket. So just a little quick knowledgeable thing in case you need to test for a head gasket. This works on all different makes, models of vehicles. You just might have to come up with a creative way to not suck antifreeze into the system, whether it be dropping the antifreeze level down or whatever, just don't get antifreeze in this or it'll avoid your test and you'll have to redo it. Now, there are some test kits, yeah, that's not leaking out. There are some test kits that they come with a little bottle. Um, actually, you know what, this test kit. Okay, so we'll go ahead. This is the box from it. You can see how old this box is. I mean, this thing's ancient. But this is a Matco Tools. We'll give you the part number just in case you have a Matco dealer. Maybe they can get it for you. I don't know. Uh, but a lot of times they'll come with a little bottle with the stuff in it already. And if you got that little bottle, you won't have to buy one. But if it doesn't come with one, you can get one from your local Napa dealer or wherever you need to find one. Uh, this one's a 700-1366 from Napa, and all the fluids work the same. As far as I know, every one that I've ever dealt with is a blue fluid, and it turns yellow when it's confirmed a bad head gasket. So, like, share, subscribe, and as always, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.